I'm going to go as far as to say that this is going to be the most important Solana video you don't watch in the next six months, but that you watch in the next two years. Because today, I'm going to show you how you can maximize the gains you're making with Solana and silencing all those moon boys once and for all. But to do that in the safest possible way, plus we'll see in a few seconds here, I'm going to give you guys an exclusive deal on a Solana based project that is about to sell out and I've just purchased my own thing of this. So please, if you are watching this anytime soon, pay attention and let's begin. But before we do, remember guys, if you do enjoy the content or like what I say and learn something new importantly, drop a like on the video, really helps me out. But importantly, subscribe so that you can achieve your own crypto goals. So first of all, let's get the urgent matter out of the road for anyone watching this within the next eight or so months. And that is the Solana Saga 2 phone is almost sold out. But here's the thing, it's not sold out overall. It's selling out of its founder window, which you can pick up for 450 US dollars. There's going to be two more rounds before it goes public, okay, before anyone can buy at the normal price. So early adopter window, obviously it'll be at a markup, so it won't be this cheap. And then supporter window will likely be around probably just under $1,000. But either way, we get to buy it so cheap right now. Pre-order, you just simply connect your MetaMask account and then go ahead and pay with traditional methods. Now, it's important you do this correctly because if they don't go ahead and do it, they're going to have to refund you via crypto. Now, I don't think they will. They've already had 60,000 pre-orders. And look, I wasn't going to really mention this in today's video, but I'm saying these things and I will consistently keep you all updated on these urgent timely matters, which is why I tell you all to hit the bell notification. Because if you do some of these things, you might have the option to you know, go into some of these and actually make some good returns like I will do in the future as well. Now, if you guys do want to actually pick it up, look, you can support the channel by simply hitting my referral link down below. All the referral link really does is just allow me to have a better chance at getting some of their like NFTs. I'm pretty sure they're doing like an NFT sort of giveaway over here. So it's not really giving me directly money, but you will help me out, I guess, overall. So look, based on the success of the Saga 1 phone that's come out, people will sell that on secondary marketplaces for like five, six, ten thousand dollars $10,000. I don't think that's going to happen this time, but you likely will have airdrops and a whole bunch of amazing features that you will only be able to get with the phone, which means when it launches in 2025, there might be some great opportunities for us to make, not only possibly selling the phone in the open market back if we really want to, but also if we keep it, you know, some of these airdrops. Let's get into the crux of the video, which again is going to be built very similar on this video over here. So I touched on Render, ICP and HBAR and how if you guys watch the video, how you can again maximize gains in the safest possible way. Now, that video is a little bit different to this one because while we're going to be going through like an exit plan and an entry plan, both of these for you all, I'm going to make this sheet available uh, completely free in my Discord because you will see at the end-ish of the video going through some of the processes that I've mapped it out so anyone can follow this very easily, okay? So in the free uh, Discord down below, use the link to join up if you aren't already in there. Again, going over exit plans is so important for crypto. Many people will probably listen to this and go, oh, he's not talking about why Solana can have 1,000x. I'm going to click off and, and let those people go because for all you legends that are actually listening to this right now, you are the ones that I can speak from experience will actually make the money and not lose it because people, whether you know this or not, lose the most money in the bull run, not by buying crappy altcoins. They lose money because they buy good altcoins, but they have higher expectations than what they actually are. Or they have low expectations, but get greedy and go above them ultimately mean that they end up holding their tokens, uh, you know, once it's too late. They never end up selling, basically. Let's go over some of the more base stats for Slana. Now, for this whole process, to get an idea of how we're going to create a solid exit plan, which again, I've done here for you, we have to have an idea of how far Solana can actually go because that's when we can start planning this out, right? So the current price is $109, market cap is $48 billion. Solana is absolutely killing it right now, which leads me to believe it's going to be one of, if not the best and highest gaining layer one project in the market this cycle. Price is currently, at least in the prediction sheet, saying $510, roughly speaking, about a $319 billion market cap. That's a 5x multiple from today's price. My prediction, personally speaking, from all the information I'm gathering, I'd say about 500 bucks is quite reasonable for Solana, but I do have the understanding that it might even go up to six or 700 bucks in combination of the best case situation. But either way, the price prediction sheet and what I'm saying 
here's a 5X, right? If you don't, if you guys don't know what the price prediction sheet is, if you're new around here, I've created a list of 100 old coins. You guys can go ahead and access with price predictions in my private community. Of course, all links are going to be down below. So here's how we're going to figure out sort of roughly speaking where Solana can again go to. And remember the whole you know idea of doing this is to begin actually creating an exit plan from this level. So to bore you, to save you guys all the boring information, right? Essentially, uh, we work off market dominance with Solana. Now, market dominance is a percentage of the global market cap that a project's market cap might be. So in the case that we have a global market cap of $1 trillion, okay, which we're obviously a bit exceeding right now. And let's just hypothetically say that Solana's market dominance was uh, 1% over here, that would mean based on those two numbers that Solana's market cap would be around about $100 billion or whatever that actually works out to be, okay? Probably $10 billion, right? Whatever. So in this case, we can use this to kind of see whether a project's actually beating the market or whether it's sort of growing with the market. If the market dominance of a project stays the same, it's holding its own. It's, it's saying, hey, you know, if the market goes up in, in price, we're also going up in price equal to the market. If it's gaining on the market, the market dominance will increase, which is a good healthy sign. Most projects do this when they really explode. And so if we have a look at Solana today, well, at least back in October, rather, it was at 0.79% market dominance, which mind you is quite impressive for a project. However, in the last five or whatever months, it has gained three and a half X to now be at 2.71%. So what we're going to do is take three levels, 3.2, 6.5, and $10 trillion as the global market cap. I've got many videos outlining the reasons why. Basically, it's all built off data and recent predictions from some large institutions in the space. And I've kind of cross-referenced it with what we can expect to be you know, seen in the next couple of years. And then we're going to look at the worst, best, and average case that Solana can go to. Okay, so worst case would be if it kind of maintained its current dominance. So I just went up with the market. What would happen if it 3x and what would happen if it's 6x with of course the increase in global market cap as well and now this will give us three levels and this is the market cap levels of solana at that given point in time we're going to find the average of all that which is this market cap over here 557 billion and then what we're going to do is divide that by the future supply of solana and that'll give us a price which is almost 900 dollars now again that sounds a little too crazy how is solana supposed to get to 550 billion dollars well Guys, we're two years out, really, or 15 or 18 months out from the real growth of the cycle, the hyper part of the cycle, and Solana's already wicked to whatever, $60, 70000000000 billion. It's shown that it can grow rapidly with a lot of money injected in it. So I wouldn't put it past it, but I also wouldn't rely on this prediction. So you might be asking some of you guys who have seen, again, this video and seen the other videos I've made recently on projects, you know, doing this sort of exercise, you'll know that I kind of do a, between the this point over here, the worst case to average case to best case, I go on multiples of five. So we go 5X and then I go 10X. The reason why I haven't done that and I've only increased 3X, another 3X, is because there is a certain ceiling, if you will, that a project can realistically grow in the market, right? Because if we was, if we 10X this, that's a 27% market dominance, which is more than the current day Ethereum. Again, that means we're not talking about market cap. We're talking about market dominance, which means it's going to have to outshine not just altcoins, but Bitcoin and Ethereum, it's going to have to take the market share significantly from those two projects, which is just isn't feasible. You can call this subjective. I call this logical subjectiveness, okay? We could start throwing buzzwords around all day, but I think this is logical, all right? I'm not doing this because I'm trying to cap Solana's growth. As you can see here, almost $1,000 comes out of just this. So we're going to go 3, 3x, not 5x and 5x. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense for all of you who are watching the channel every day and learning as we go through things. Keep in mind, I have a really groundbreaking discovery I wanna talk with you guys through here in a second that I had said recently that I've, after making this video, I realized I was wrong. We're gonna to get to that in a second. So what we're gonna do is take these three price prediction levels. As it says, we're gonna take the my price prediction level. We're gonna take over here the price prediction level from the price prediction sheet. And we're gonna come over here and take the price prediction of this new data over here and average that out to $507. This is what people would say, hey, my price prediction for Solana is $507, which is kind of funny because a lot of people are throwing around 500 bucks, okay? So that actually works out. Everything seems quite in order in this case, but you never wanna take a price prediction as 
what you want to look at to get out of the project because why would you want to get out at the possible best case of a project because we're talking about fairyland now right so if these are the sell levels and this over here is 500 dollars right why would you want to take the chance of the project wicking up and wicking down when you want to sell down here it's much more likely to go again the lower down you go in price the more realistic it becomes to achieve so we always on the channel go down 25 percent as a general rule of thumb to ensure that we are getting in at a realistic price and i call this my max realistic ladder sell price and we'll see why it's called that in a second here so my exit plan for solana selling at 380 dollars. so we're not selling at 507 we are selling at 380 now you can decide to take the information i share with you today and go and do it for 507 dollars or 400 dollars or a thousand dollars you know godspeed to you all the best to you in the bull run i hope it all works out for you but i like to preach being as safe as possible in the market whilst getting the most out of the market and so as you will know from already doing this you know all of you people out there thinking to yourself hey solana is a project that i'm looking to get a 20x out of from the current price that's moon boy thinking right and you've got to kind of come together and and gather your thoughts and you know actually do this exercise which is why i do it for you to begin to realize hang on Solana isn't a project I'm trying to get a 20x out of. We're well past that point right now. Be a robot. It hasn't actually given us that chance, especially if you are late. So I would consider Solana now a low risk, low reward project. And we'll look at what this means in just a second here before we get into the exit plan itself. But what I would kind of say for you all thinking about this is at the current price, we're really only looking for a three and a half X right now. If you bought in at 75 bucks, it's a five X. If you bought in at 50 bucks, it's an eight X. And if you bought in at 30 bucks, that's the 13x okay and again this is going to my personal max level i would look to get out at, at a ladder sell position so if you're someone out there again looking even if you bought in at 30 bucks right and you're looking for a 20x it could happen you might get lucky but we're not taking that chance so the reason why i call this a low risk low reward is again because of what i teach on the channel the first thing you got to do in crypto is create a foundation and that is understanding what your personal reward goals are how much money do you want out of the market and you've got to materialize it. If you want to make $10 million, why? Do you want to buy a property? Do you want to just look cool? Do you want to buy a fancy car to piss off the ex? Whatever it is, you've got to materialize the gains. Now, we also, in addition to that, have to work out our risk to reward ratios, right? Or basically how much we're looking to diversify based on risk. And in this case, Solana fits in the very, very top echelon of projects in that you're likely to you know, get the least amount of returns, but in the safest way. It's low risk, but also gives you low reward at that. There's that trade-off, okay? But that's fine because a lot of you guys out there watching the channel have a lot of money to play with. And for you, you know, even at current price, you know, three and a half Xing, that's a lot of money. If you three and a half X a million dollars, that's $20 million. Of course, it's three and a half million. I'm just joking, making sure you're awake. Okay, so the last thing I will say here is the Wealth Preservation and Wealth Creation Guide. This is what I teach in my courses. And it's very simple, right? Projects in the 25 billion plus market cap fit into uh, this low risk, low reward section, which we can identify as wealth preservation. And ideally, I like to say, you really should have a mix between the both if you are a traditional or kind of mediocre investor like myself, right? You're not someone who's overly wealthy, not someone who's overly poor. You sit right in the middle. You should have a nice mix. So this might be a perfect project for you if you want preservation based, again, off the details I just shared with you, okay? Again, this is why price predictions are so important, but unfortunately, so many influencers have tainted uh, the idea of a price prediction. They're just using it to invoke FOMO in you. But really, there is a very important point to do it as long as you're realistic. So here is our little scenario we're going to play out in this case, which I've chosen specifically because it's likely to suit many of you or the majority of people watching the video. So we have 125 slider in this example, right? With an average buy price of 80 bucks with $10,000 invested. Very simple math. You take 10K, divide that by 80 or 80 divided by 10,000 rather. And that'll give you a value of 125, which means that's how many tokens you have. You can do that yourself to figure out how many tokens you have or basically what your average buy price is. And we're going to look for a goal of $50,000 or a 5X, basically at $10,000, which means, and I've chosen this specifically because that will give us the max over here, the max ladder sell price of 380 bucks. Now, again, it's a very specific example, which is why in a moment when I take you through the sort of what entry levels to find and how to do that, this will help you realize how to alter that level. But again, I wouldn't go any higher than this. There's a reason why we moved down 25%. Again, it's to make sure that we can actually begin ladder selling because the reason we ladder sell here or the, the intention behind it is to sell some levels beneath that line 
and you'll have to sell some above that line to find an average of that level. Now, here's where a lot of people will go wrong listening to influencers that don't really talk about this. What happens is they'll say, you know, sell 20% at this level, this level, this level, sell X amount at this level, whatever. And what they don't realize is they're not taking into consideration a term called weighted average, which, okay, it's very easy. You might pick five levels beneath the intention line. Okay, five levels under. And you might go, well, I'll just sell five levels above in equilibrium. That's going to work out well. But the minute you change a single percentage here, the minute you go from selling, you know, 10% at each level and you're selling 8% at this level and, you know, let's say 12% at the top level, you've moved the weighted average, the average you're actually selling out of up. Likewise, if you sell a little bit too much down here, you might want to take your initial investment out, not realizing it, you're actually going to bring your average sell price down extremely, okay? And if that doesn't make much sense, that's okay. I've got courses on this. I'm not, you know, asking you to spend your money on me. If you want free value, I will leave links down below to YouTube videos I've made on this. There's like about an hour worth of different videos that take you through this in more detail because this is a concept you have to understand. But either way, I've done it all for you basically, right? So for most people, this is the max you're likely or you should sell your Solana, which will give you that level. We're just using the case of averaging in 80 bucks, okay? So what I would probably suggest, and not financially, of course, is that when you're looking to sell Solana is because it's one of the assets that we're looking for low risk, low reward, you shouldn't really have an issue by trying to hope for a massive price. We're looking at a realistic price in my opinion. So even at 380 bucks, I think Solana can definitely, you know, from the current price, like what's that just over or just under 4X, I think we can get an initial investment out level. I wouldn't typically recommend this, but we can in this case, again, because we are looking for that safer play. It is Solana after all. And so what we're gonna do here is work off an initial sell level of $237. And we're going to put our last position in here at 417 with only seven total levels, six levels after the initial investment. And here's where a very important point I'll mention to you comes in, which I've been getting wrong recently, and it's all stemmed on this. Don't worry, we'll get to it. So all in all, here are my levels. Screenshot this if you really want to. This is what I've worked on as to hit the nail on the head. It just is the basically the numbers version of what you're looking at over here, okay? It's these levels in black and white and gives you the, the sell price, what the actual level we're looking to sell out of is, what the initial investment out actually looks like, okay? So we're getting our $10,000 and we're taking it off the table. So it's nothing but profit, risk-free almost. And how much of our portfolio we have to sell. So 33% of our portfolio at the initial investment level, which is the sweet spot, by the way. I think if you sell any more than 33% of your portfolio, you're probably teetering on selling too much, which basically means you'll have to sell more of your portfolio higher, right, up here, which it just obviously adds more risk to the situation. So when we take our initial investment out, we are selling all of our 125 tokens, and that's the percentage we've got here. But then we don't worry about the 125 tokens. We're looking at a new value of only 83 tokens. So we work the rest out, all these percentages here, based on the 83 tokens we have left over, okay? So this basically never existed. This was just us taking profit off the table. This, that's why I've listed them as one to six, not two to seven, because these are the actual levels in which will help us identify our weighted average. So what we do is we total all of these levels up as our total profit, and that comes to $31,000. To find the weighted average, you take whatever value that comes out to be. So in this case, $31,035. And then you divide that by the amount of tokens. In this case, again, we're working off 83 tokens divided by 83. And we get a value of 374 bucks, which yes, is $6 below 380. I mean, really cry me a river. That doesn't work. That literally the difference between that and this is like 31200 Like it's, it's very minute, right? It's only a few hundred dollars not really that bad at all. So the way to average there makes sense. And this is how you kind of get there. And I think honestly, you can see how much we're selling at level six over here at the very, very top. But like I've said many, many times to you guys, I'd rather sell a larger chunk up here on the last level, then sell that distributed to multiple levels above it. Because every time you go higher, you're increasing risk. The lower you go, the less the more chance it's going to have to hit, the less risky it is. And that's why I would say that basically you can chunk up the, the percentages over here because either way, you'd be throwing it on top, which is even more risky than adding it to this level. So that's what I would do in this case. Now, here's what I want to touch on. I learned something very important making this video. And this is why I'm always a big proponent. Guys, I make sure I don't get things wrong before I make videos. I research and I research and I research. But along the way, I do pick up little things that I do change here and there 
that I do want to tell you about. I'm not going to act like I'm a perfect guy and I'm only 24 years old. I'm always learning, right? And in this case, what I learned today was a big game changer for me because before this point, I would actually include the initial investment out level, this level over here, as cell level one, meaning that I would basically take this, add 10,000 to it, because of course we, we didn't add 10,000 before, that'd be about $41,000. And if you take 41,000 and again, divide it by the total tokens, 125, you get a lot less than the weight average, you get about $325. So what this basically means is that when you are someone incorporating an initial investment out level, do not include that in the subsequent levels. That doesn't matter, it's evaporated, it means nothing anymore. You then take the new total of tokens and then you get these and that you work out your weighted average. Now, I must say in this video, for example, uh, down here, all my projects, that all works out well, but the one project that I actually overshot on, I believe was ICP that I decided to put in the initial investment out level, but I watched it back and basically if you followed the ICP example, you just sell at a higher price than what I actually thought, okay? So that's a big change, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, but at least it wasn't, you know, undershooting you guys, it was overshooting you all in, in the better way without incorporating more risk. So it was definitely better, but I thought it was worth noting. So here is the entry levels. Now I'm gonna kind of gloss over this because I want you guys to go ahead and actually do this for your old coins and for you to do that, you're gonna have to go to the Discord, again, free link down below under my boards and find this. It'll be under Solana exit and entry plan. And you'll see here, if you are someone looking for a 10X to know when to begin buying, it's the same process. Again, we're marking the same levels. We're going down 25% to find our max letter sell price. Then we come down to the current price. We move up and we mark this on a mark tool to the current max letter sell price. That'll give us a percentage. In this case, it's a three and a half X from the current price. And ask yourself, right, if you're looking to get into Solana, ask yourself, is that actually going to achieve my goal of, again, a 10x, right? Someone looking for a 10x. If the answer is no, what do we do? Well, we come over here. This is the interactive example I was talking about. From three, what we did was we moved down until you reach your ROI target. So you'll move this market down here on TradingView until you reach your 10x. As you can see over here, just under the 10x mark. By the way, 900% is a 10X for those who didn't know. And then ask yourself, would it be possible for the coin to reach this price? And down here, the price is, I believe, like I think $38 or something. If the answer is no, move on, find a new coin. Because basically you've said, even at the best possible case at, and at the max letter sell price, I can't achieve my goal. So you get the hell out and you move on. Very simple, right? And if the answer is yes, if you can actually reach that goal, what you want to do then is see if you can move down to even further to a level that you can actually see the price going to. So you might move down a little bit more, okay? And then move down the max letter sell level to achieve your 10X. Then you wanna move this down a little bit, okay? So you've moved this down and then you're moving this down to achieve that 10X goal because what you're doing in this case is finding your entry level and finding your sell level. So that way you can go, okay, well, if the price hits 25 bucks, which is my entry level, I'm going to begin buying, okay? And I'm only looking to sell at like, let's say it's 240 bucks, right? And this, I believe, applied for, uh, I think $25 was this. So, you know, even at 38 bucks, Solana ain't going to hit 38 bucks. So you'd be a no and you have to go find a new coin if you were looking for a 10X with Solana, okay? But if, going back to the first example, right? If you are someone who looks at this and it's a 10X, right? You've achieved your goal from the current price, it's simple. You just do the same thing over here without this step, right? So we go from step three, uh, where we of course moved up to the current price and identified, hey, we actually get our 10X. Well, now we're gonna simply again move down to find a price that we can actually realistically achieve, all right, based on previous trading action. And then we're gonna move this down until we of course hit our 9X again. And those levels are the exact same again as over here but without that extra step, okay? And the beautiful part about this is it's gonna allow you to have buffer room on the top side to be as safe as possible. Realistically, you don't even wanna be ladder selling up here. The lower you bring your ladder sell level, right? So if this was you plotting this here, the lower you bring this down and you begin ladder selling down here, the better it becomes. Like, wouldn't it be amazing if you could actually achieve 100X at, you know, 50% markup? Doesn't make any sense, but that's kind of the point, right? I'm trying to say here, the lower you bring it down, the better, which is again, coming back to the reason why overall, I would look to not sell anything above the $417 mark and put more weight, more percentage on that level. So ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I wanna say thank you so much for watching the whole way through. If you have enjoyed, and if this did help you, again, support my work by dropping a like, and let me know down below if you are picking up the Solana phone. I just went and bought mine right before the video, so I'm really excited to see what comes of it. Thanks so much, take good care.